It's high tech and very high spec. This is the Punjab Forensic Science Agency. More than 200 scientists specializing in over a dozen disciplines, including DNA testing, toxicology, and blood spatter analysis, all collaborate together at this state-of-the-art laboratory to try and solve Pakistan's most complex criminal investigations, including ones the police say relate to terrorism. Dr. Mohammed Tahir, a top U.S. forensic scientist, was hired by the Punjab provincial government to oversee the project. He tells me in the few months the facility has been operational, his team has already solved hundreds of crimes. Physical evidence is a silent witness. A trained forensic scientist will be able to make this silent witness speak in the court of law. This facility is without a doubt impressive and important work is clearly being carried out here. But it's not without its critics. Critics who claim millions in financial irregularities have inflated the facility's price tag to over $25 million. Citing independent auditors, opposition politicians claim the government overspent on construction, forensic equipment and on overseas trips for staff. If anyone can prove a single penny corruption in any of the Punjab government project, we will resign. The Punjab Forensic Science Agency still has its supporters. The province's chief minister has promised to fund the facility for however long he remains in office. And countries like Turkey, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh have asked to send their forensic specialists for training. Still, it's the impact the laboratory could have on Pakistan's legal system, which most are paying the closest attention to. In the past three years, only 4% of those charged with terrorism-related offenses have been convicted. Courts often throw out cases citing a lack of evidence, something many hope will become a thing of the past now that this modern, one-of-a-kind facility exists. Imtiaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Lahore.